Hey guys, it's Danny. Okay, so today we're gonna be discussing about orchids with double growth. So a while back I was telling you that some of my orchids are producing a new growth and before that new growth even approaches maturity, it starts to produce a new growth on its own. And I was telling you back then that I think it's a sign of stress. And indeed, I reached the conclusion that it is a sign of stress. And I was having a discussion with one of my viewers in the past few days that is going through the same thing. So let's make a separate video on it and I'll tell you a few of my observations. So here we have a Calia orchid and I'll show you what I mean by double growth. As you can see right here, I have a brand new growth. It's not even open yet, as you can see. But if you look below it, it is producing a brand new growth of her own. Okay, here is a better view. So this is the fresh new growth, it's completely immature and it is producing a brand new growth here as well. So the orchid herself does not look all that bad, however, it did not have any roots when I received it. Also, most probably, it switched environment. And this is not the only orchid that I've noticed produces this. Here is another Kellia type orchid that is doing the very same thing. So from this new growth, which is not completely mature yet, two other growths have actually sprouted and they're starting to mature. Now what I've noticed with most of them is that this growth right here will not stop growing. She will still mature but very, very, very slow because the orchid is focusing its energy on these secondary new growths. Now you might be tempted to think, well I have two new growths, I'll have double the roots, so it should be a good thing. Well I tend to believe it's not necessarily a good thing, because think about it, if the orchid is focusing its energy on one new growth, that new growth will receive the best that the orchid can provide, particularly if it's sick, you want the full attention of the orchid to one new growth. If it is forced to put out two new growths, this particular one might really not be as big as the previous one or both of them will be smaller than the other growths of the orchid because what the mother orchid is doing is splitting her energy into two which is definitely not ideal particularly when we're dealing with a sick or stressed orchid and i'll show you an example of such orchid so you can see here this very stressed orchid produced this new growth however the growth did not mature just yet it is still growing but it's already producing another new growth and as you can see it's quite tiny and this is only because the whole orchid was forced to split its energy resources into two rather than just focusing into one single point. Sometimes it might happen that the orchid will abort one of the growths. And here I have another Cattleya example. I seem to have more Cattleyas doing this than other orchids. So here we have a growth that completely stopped growing. It is not rotten in any way. It just stopped growing. However, it did put out its energy in the other new growth, which is maturing right there. And in this instance, you can see that the new growth is not necessarily very tiny. So the orchid, by stopping its energy flow to this growth, it was able to focus on the newest growth, which is a good thing, but this doesn't happen all the time. So at this point, you might wonder what we can do to help our orchid. Well, there's not a lot of things you can do, but providing the proper environment will definitely, definitely help. Also, keeping the humidity higher either around the orchid or at the base of the pseudobulbs will definitely help by making the root tips grow normally without stopping because of dehydration. And also, what I think is important is to supplement fertilizer, particularly either a high nitrogen fertilizer or a balanced fertilizer. I wouldn't go for bloom boost or stuff of the sorts because at this point the orchid really needs to focus on vegetative growth and since she is forced to put out two new growths which inevitably she will not have energy to hold I think a boost of nitrogen can help however don't imagine that both of the new growths will bloom and will look spectacular and will be big and so on since we're dealing with a stressed orchid in most cases it will not happen so you need to have a little patience but if you're ever dealing with something like this, think if your orchid just went through a stressful period, as in loss of roots, maybe a brutal repotting, maybe switching environments and so on. Make sure the orchid is kept in a good environment for its requirements. Do not forget to water, it's really important because she really really needs hydration and also fertilizer. If you're dealing with an orchid with stressy roots, maybe lack of roots, you don't need to use a full fertilizer dosage. You might not need to fertilize very often. However, I would suggest that you do fertilize, maybe starting with 
quarter of a strength and then increasing as the root system grows. So alrighty guys, thank you for watching, hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comments below if you ever experienced something like this. It appears to not happen very very often. For me, this is the first year that it happens. If you'd like to watch more Orchid videos from me and stay up to date, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a daily basis for the main part. Lately life just interfered but everything is fine, we'll go back to normal as soon as possible. Feel free to leave me comments down below if you have questions or suggestions for videos, I always check my comments. And if you ever want to send me a letter, do so at the address you see on the screen or in the description below. Choose an option on the screen if you like to be directed to orchidnature.com, which is my website, or watch another Orchid video. Thank you for joining, I'll see you next time, bye!